bought it though because I wanted to try out uh, Final Cut Pro and see how that worked and see if it was actually a whole lot better. Again, I still use my PC with Sony Vegas Pro today. It used to be that Macs and PCs, there was kind of a war and the Mac usually won when it came to audio and video. Today, they're pretty comparable though. Now, as far as audio itself, I use Adobe Audition. In fact, I am recording the audio that we're taught that you're listening to right now in Adobe Audition. And I'm actually doing this. There's a, there's a bunch of different ways to create a video like what you're watching. You can create your content first, create your slides if you're doing it in PowerPoint, and then narrate it. But what I'm doing in this particular case, because I like the effects and the different, I wanted to, you know, make it a little bit more spiced up. What I'm doing is recording the entire audio clip first. Now, I, I want you to take the visuals and I want you to take the quality and all that stuff into consideration. But I will say to you that from a professional standpoint, this is not the most professional production. And here's why. I am kind of shooting off from the hip on this. I'm sitting down and I'm going to just tell you my thoughts. I've got an outline laid out and I'm going to show you all about that later on. We're going to talk about process and and workflow and stuff. I've got a rough outline, but I'm kind of just talking to you from experience. I'm recording that in Adobe Audition, again, just the audio. And then what I'm going to do is bring that into Sony Vegas. I'll bring that audio in and I'll start to throw in my graphics. I'll start to throw in my text and bullet points. I'm going to synchronize that up with the audio. So the beauty of this is if I happen to be thinking of something spontaneously, and I say it, then I can go ahead and throw in the video for it after the fact. Again, this is just one technique. If I was doing this for, let's say, a training, a full board training or a professional promotional clip, I would actually have a script and I would want to follow that along. I would edit out all the any ums or ahs or anything like that that I said. But in this case, again, I'm just shooting from the hip. So we've got Adobe Audition. What we do is with all these applications, a lot of times through my workflows, I'm bouncing in and out from one to the other. A lot of times I have several open at once. I might work on some video. And then if I've got some audio that I need to play with, I might port something over to Audition, play with it there, and bring it back. Now, Sony Vegas Pro and Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro, they all deal with audio but they're primarily video programs. Because I know you're asking,